Are you ready to study the civics test questions and answers today? Let's begin. This civics test video is based on the official United States Citizenship and Immigration Services website. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Kevin McCarthy. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights movement. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. What are two cabinet-level positions? Secretary of Agriculture. Secretary of Commerce. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the Slaves Emancipation Proclamation. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. In what month do we vote for president? November. If both the president and the vice president 
can no longer serve. Who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War Two. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Why does the flag have fifty stars? Because there are fifty states. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because they didn't have self-government. What major event happened on September eleventh, two thousand one, in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. We elect a U.S. senator for how many years? Six. Name one war. Fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War One. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens eighteen and older can vote. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, and freedom of speech. Name one state that borders Canada. Alaska. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Serve on a jury. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April fifteen. When was the Constitution written? Seventeen eighty-seven. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Obey the laws of the United States. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and join a political party. What did Susan B. Anthony do? 
fought for women's rights. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Twenty-seven. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. There were thirteen original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Who was the first president? George Washington. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, liberty. How many U.S. senators are there? One hundred. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. During the Cold War. What was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Four hundred thirty-five. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Who makes federal laws? Congress. If the president can no longer serve. Who becomes president? The vice president. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. 
who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. Who vetoes bills? The president. What is the name of the president of the United States now? Joe Biden. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. Name two national U.S. holidays. Memorial Day, Independence Day. We just want to remind you that some answers may change because of elections or appointments. So as you study for the civics test, Make sure that you know the most latest or current answers to these questions. Answer these questions with the name of the official who is serving at the time of your eligibility interview with the USCIS. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. We would like to thank our Super Thanks purchasers. We want to acknowledge and show gratitude to our viewers who bought Super Thanks. Super Thanks lets you support your favorite video or channel while giving the creator a new source of revenue besides the ads on the video. The Super Thanks button can be found under each video. This is a feature on YouTube where a viewer can buy a one-time animation on a video and send a personalized colorful comment to support a video creator in a new way.